No, not this intro again. I couldn't hear when I was doing this. How did everyone get into the school? All right, so they walked in and then a uh, Sony spiral effect uh, was placed on the screen. And then um, they got sent in. I got an item! I did it! Guys, I did it, I won! All right, I guess I'm still gonna keep going. You know, just kill someone you wanna leave. My mind froze a breath caught through a thotting neck. Could feel a paralyzing steer. So I'm gonna get last nerve, air hung heavy on me. I don't need to know about that. Pressing down like a weight around my neck. Took everything I had just to endure that weight. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. But for as heavy as the air felt, all took us to Pierce is her sharp and? words. So, what are we gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at anyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Yeah. Right, yeah, she's right. Listen to me. Sometimes even when you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. I forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself and show you shame. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Huh? He's a sub for sure. If you have time, yell about it. If you have time to do something However... about it. However, what is the mission exactly? That that yeah, it is a redditor. What is the mission? Stupid. <laughs> you idiot. Do the mission. <laughs> Look for a way out. Duh. <sighs> We totally need to find whoever was controlling a stupid bear and beat him up. But before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. Probably best to check out the school's regulations, Mon Monokuma regulated. Are we stumble around with no clue what the rules are? Something like that might happen again. Yeah. All right. So then. Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules. Ah, my name. <laughs> I'm really happy you didn't show my, uh, my Steam name, which for anyone wondering is currently by Curious George. <laughs> <laughs> After turning on the e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school's regulations icon. An item list, an item list appeared on the screen. It was the school's regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable. Is an unacceptable use of time. All right, cool. We can't leave. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speaks Academy at your own discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited and is destruction of service as a destruction of surveillance camera. Anyone who kills a fellow black student and becomes black and will graduate unless they're discovered. So we have to discover who murders, I'm assuming. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my head up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! <laughs> this is stupid! I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then why don't you run around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens if someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if we got punished like that when we saw before, I don't think there would be a respawn waiting for him. That... I hate him. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills us. So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's Piece so what. Shit. So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me, but you're saying you'll follow the regulations? That's Is that true. it? Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, I got a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a found student? Yeah, I read that. I'm talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. They say anyone who graduated and they have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Why do we have to do that? Well, is there any reason to worry about it? Just worry about the following rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't jab at me. More like someone stab. Well, for now, let's all forget about the silly junk and murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, we're starting to in the school. We need to know exactly... No, I'm gonna run into a body! I'm going to run into a body! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Why did I agree to this two hours ago? Okay. 
If I know exactly where we are, is there any way out? What about food supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Okay, let's look around. I'll be going alone. Nice. Why? Dumb idea. <laughs> Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stamp around with them in our midst? Make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Hold on, that would never. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why we're all seized up with fear with what that graduation rule was made clear with to you. I cannot read. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for Just me. Just hold on. Like, heck, I'm gonna let you run off and do what you want. What? Out of my way, plank. Dang! Heck's that meant to me? One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea, so minuscule, so significant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the battle You're of oceans. Fucking dead. I'm gonna kill you. We shouldn't be fighting. What? You just said... You're some kind of goody-goody? You wanna throw down? You really wanna talk to me like that? You think you're my heckin' I mean, dad or some Heck you. Wham. He punched me. <laughs> and then I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming, and it's suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, and the next I'm soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe i kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense has just stopped functioning between all these ultimates have been blowing my fuse. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something that as absurd as this. I'd, but I'd lost track of time in that reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. When I finally opened my- No, 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 no. Oh. It <laughs> Where am I? It's as if it's become part of my daily routine. We're welcome in a room, a room I haven't seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu! I'm so glad I'm not dead. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play open the handbook with the F1 key. Oh! Um, the F1 key mutes the entirety of my computer. But I think I can still hit it if I- Alright, well... Am I- Oh, I'm in this. I can press tab, right? Dear heckin' lord! Okay. That's supposed to be the key to the room. My name is written on the keychain, which means it must be mine. Better hang on to it for now. Trash can. Just never do trash can. Oh! I got a coin. I win. That means I get paid, right? Paper hanging up, which says, Now it's been better than my Each room lock has been designed to be completely against taking its tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual's room key is quite troublesome, so please remember not to lose yours. Your room comes first with the shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, that bathrooms. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Okay, well, I'm thankful for that, but. I still don't like it. Hi, Louise. Prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a. sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. Sewing kit includes a map of bodies. <sighs> okay. Oh, dear heckin' lord. Don't think, just feel, let's all enjoy ourselves. <laughs> this is the bathroom? Oh, cool, it's not opening, it's locked. Wait, I'm in a girl's room then? Looks like something in the drawer. Toolkit. Must be brand new, still in the shrink lab. Don't really think I need it, I'll just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand, this room must be... Should be anywhere under the, the dormitory. This is a dormitory. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers my question. Next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? Only way we would find out. Best to get out of here. Okay, I want to go in the bathroom. I'm in a girl's bathroom, but I'm not, because there's a toolkit. So I'm in a guy's bathroom? A little confused. Leave the area. Uh... Okay. Rush out of my room and with all the other- oh wait, no. No, 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 
Ah. Oh, it's just a lady. Oh, Sayaka. Hi, Sayaka. Sorry. Sorry, are you are fine? You... I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I'm really thankful there's reading for me. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. You okay? You hurt? <laughs> I think it's not worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know I look, but I'm actually built. I'm built different. You sure it's a lady? <sighs> You're right. <laughs> I'm just not going to assume anything. You know what? For this game, they're all helicopters. Every character is a helicopter. And you cannot convince me that helicopters do not exist. It's like, his colors are the trans flat. Don't! <laughs> Mad foreshadowing. <laughs> What are you doing to me? That's good then. You okay? You know, from one who hit you? I got knocked out right in front of everyone. I reeled my like of cool right Get from the beginning. Makoto? Yeah, I'm fine. That's Whatever. Hex? What? Who? Don't you hecking kill to me. Who is Who is the femboy? I mean, he, I, I gotta find, it's probably that girl I said multiple times of. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? I came to get you. You came to get me. Um, well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. Dining you hall? As you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more efficient to split up and investigate. So we agreed to get to each other later on and talk about what we found out. You said every girl multiple times? Okay, yeah, good, good point. Does it mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go that's with you. Good. good, I'll go on and meet you at the dining hall then. Why did the music stop? Oh no, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate this ro red room. Uh. Oh, cool. It tells me I'm visiting the Redditor's room. If there are not just like tissues everywhere on the ground and lotion, I'm, I'm disappointed. Okay, I can't go in yet. What? The what? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm teleporting out of the map! I'm getting out of here! Oh wait, no, wait. Okay, we're fine. They they wouldn't do it that in the middle of this. Um... Looks pretty clean, so that's good. That's not really important right now with us being prisoners and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Let's wait here. <laughs> you heard that? I'm psychic. I'm kidding, seriously, I just have an amazing institution. Is it really just an institution? I'm gonna be talking to Sekora, right? While you're talking to where some purple worlds are going to appear, here's how they work. That's a, that's a reaction, okay. What'd you wanna ask me? Did you go to Black U Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. I knew it! I went there too, I was a class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but she somehow still knew who I was. I heckin... It had to have been, yeah. Hey, um... You okay? Yeah, just surprised at all. I thought you wouldn't remember me. We went to the same school three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. If she walks away and I find out she's dead now, I'm going to be mad. Anyways, I'm glad that I know somebody's here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all the ultimates. But you are the one that helped me find my cur courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Alright, thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Oh, she's dead. I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here. When she says something like that, it's, it just gets me pumped up! Which is nice, but still. Everyone still is here late. And besides, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Found it! What time is it right now? 7 o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I'll lost sense of time. If I had to stay in a place like this for too long, I might hey, go crazy. Um... 
I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining room doors right as Saki said that. Hey! Hey! I'm here! You got here first? Too bad, I sure have beat everyone here. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Won't give up. Next time I'll win, no prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like it when it fades to black and the music goes away. I hate that so much. No, no, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. What's her name? You know, silver haired girl. Oh yeah, Kyoto. Hmm. Oh no, is she dead? Oh no, oh no! Um, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead, she has to be! Huh? No one's seen her! Shut up, male! <laughs> yes, indeed! No! No! <laughs> it's starting! It's beginning! Is it possible? No, I'm overthinking things. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear lord. I now declare the first session of the Hoax Speed Academy breathing must begin. First of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. You know, oh, what's up? I feel like I've really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I've given everything that you've got. What if she did it? You've already done so much to be my assistant. Oh, I gotta talk to everyone now? Or I don't? Okay, I guess I don't have to talk to everyone. Let's try to talk about this. Let me lay out what's going on. Everyone's split up to the rest of the part of the building, see. but... Fire and talk about what else going around instead of Tokyo. <laughs> Prisoners here, but unfortunately no discoveries. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> if I haven't covered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't. Right, understood. What happens if I just keep clicking? Looks like... Oh, dear lord, there's more. Oh no, I hate, I hate reading so much. Taka, the ground dormitory, me. discovery of the century. Found there's one exactly for each person. Yeah. Okay, he's not helping. And plus. Totally soundproof, um. okay, that's useful. <laughs> he turned also has a private bedroom and has to lock, but it looks like there's only locks in the bathroom of the girls. When I checked mine, it was definitely locked. Weird, I should double check hey, that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Better to have than have not. Okay, wait, hold on. It just occurred to me. Can I go in other people's dorms, do you think? So in that case, the moment I'm free, I'm going in some of the girls' doors. I'm going to other people's places and checking if their bathrooms have locks on them or not. This is how I get this figured out. You can't go into the dorms? Oh. Okay, well, darn. What if there's a body in the dorms? Then I can, right? Why wouldn't I be able to? You do if you complete their free time events. Gotcha, okay, okay. Up and down school, they were checking windows. I wanted to see if any of those metal plates would come off. What happened was nothing. Yeah, okay. What should I do? No hope of escape. School's totally cut this off. This is bad. This is bad, terrible. Bad, 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 really bad, terrible. Bad. Hey, come on. Calm down. Well, maybe we can find a way to communicate with the outside. Sorry. We didn't find a single thing. What? Uh, nothing. What? <laughs> Shit. Nothing. Yes, indeed. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Nothing. So then. Sir, door is seriously going to hey. another floor. If the gates were there, we couldn't find a way to open them. <laughs> In other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first floor. We can further assume there's a potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance that maybe... Let's see... But being honest, I can't say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time with the gym, and honestly, we're not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior what detectives. Wrong with you? What the heck are you thinking? <laughs> um... What the... I wanted to go with someone, you could have just said something. <laughs> Oh, dang! Language! 
Yo, she's being called out. There, she probably has the most star rule 34 made of her. Hey, come on. Hey, I'm Danny Amadee. Found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, overflowing. That's good. Guess we don't have to worry about food. What? Sure for dumb, but you would let. <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm playing my worst nightmare. Was everything okay? He didn't try to eat her you or anything. <laughs> eat her? What do you mean by that? I mean, what do you mean eat? What kind of eating are we talking about? Oh, no. Is he into vor? Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. <laughs> I love his voice lines. I love how he just assaults people. You sweet, innocent child. I don't know if that was innocent of me to say. You're spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying mm -hmm. on. What? Wait, who's here? You told my beloved. Who said that? Where the heck have you been? Oh, good, she's not dead. It just occurred to me. Thank goodness. She didn't say a word. Immediately, she just dropped a piece of paper. What's this? It appears to be a map. A map? Oh, I already have that. If I press tab, it's... Wow. Where'd you find this? Doesn't matter. It does matter. <laughs> but more important, Never mind that. What does it mean? Just look at it. Building where we're is way along precisely the same way as Hellspeak Academy. So what you're saying is this is really it's Hellspeak true. Academy? Well, in terms of its conduct production, yeah. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations on it. However, I don't know all the details yet. All I found is details about the um, first floor. But then this is really Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to another place. So stupid. It's not even possible. This is where the country's future elites are supposed to come from. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Stop talking about all this negative stuff. Aren't you worried? Things don't look good. What's there to be worried about? It's all this plan, right? People in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together. <laughs> I got stressed every time something like this happened. I've had ecto... I don't need to know about your ectoplasm, man. Good thing comes to those who wait, right? We're just gotta chill and work it out. Ha ha ha. What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> just happy. Alright, she murdered someone. All of them were in the room? No, 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 no. She murdered someone. You forgot about the 16th guest. The third imposter, if you will. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying to think of it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we going to do? It's very simple. You want to leave, just have to kill. Don't even joke. Everyone calm down. We need to stop. I'm really tired of reading. Y you can tell this is the point of the stream where I'm tired of reading out loud. And I'm just like, yeah. Seems like. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Do you understand? Lack of ability. Survivability. Survival's not based on who's the smartest so it's because you can Actually. adapt. As someone who's come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? What do you mean? Hmm. We always said that we're trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's see. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every night time, every time night comes, we'll all be worried and anxious. We'll be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it'll wear us down after time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity as night as a kind of preventive measure? Indeed. She's a liar, though. So we probably shouldn't want to listen to that often, right? Because then she'll just probably come in and kill someone. What do you mean? But I think I can agree to that. It's like a little goth Latia said. Without something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! <laughs> On behalf of the men, I like to agree! Hey, can't just decide to speak for this us. Everyone's in agreement? Good. Well, if you excuse me, where are you Let's going? See. Oh, it's nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives, so goodbye. It's nighttime currently. Is it not? Moving with pure elegance, let's move the way. Her behavior seems so natural, I can imagine anyone trying to stop her. Yeah, call it in. I'm a little tired. I have a strange feeling there's going to be a murder tonight. I move it's everyone who went to their private rooms. I'm so prepared to see a body. Every time. Every time I'm prepared. I'm like ready. I'm like. <laughs> this really won't be saying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time. Only girls should have locks on them, right? Oh! <sighs> Jump scare. Not locked. Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> it's Monokuma from from Danganronpa. It's like you saw a ghost, like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? This is Super Duty Majorly Bad, so it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful uh -huh. attack. And point of fact, I'd like to announce that your the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frames. So the reason it won't open is because it's what? Hey, um. The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. I mean, a lock in the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless. It's not that pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on... What is happening? Little well, trick to open up this door. Turn the door knob and lift it up while you fall. Go ahead and give it a try. Alright, perfect, we opened it. Don't do this to me! We don't hecking know! One of them is a guy! Alright, we know this! We know this for a fact! I don't know which one, though! It's driving me insane! I'm losing my heckin' mind! You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? Looks like you're not lucky. Anyways, I don't feel like being in here more. Bye! Nope, oh, five minutes of Freddy's. No. No, wait, no, no, wait, no. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bug bite. I hate him. I hate him so much. Looks like at night time we're all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try to get some sleep, while still muttering to myself and collapse on the bed. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I won't be able to move. Uh, I'm just gonna assume I'm about to fall asleep. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thor, pause, sleep. Too much to hope when I woke up and realized it was all dream. Kind of lame so far as I didn't go, but I'd be fine with that. Hey, poo. What? In any normal school, Mr. Monica would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students. Shout their to your ideals. I you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! I'm glad all of you were enjoying Monica with the- Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! So Monokuma is just enforcing Spectrum Internet. Internet dies at 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Maybe I should go find Sakura. We can figure out where we're going. Oh, she's dead. I know! The moment I go in, I'm going to see a body! <laughs> and I don't want to go in- I'm doing it! Okay, she's alive. Woo! <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Makoto. Hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Fuck. <laughs> um, listen. I have a... Okay. Um... Favor? You ready to head out? Okay, you like to come with me. Okay. Um... Maybe something around here to use for self-defense. Um... She murdered someone. I want to be able to protect myself. Yeah, that sounds about right. Jim? Alright, again. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. I don't trust her. Oh what? You can now use the teleport button. Trying to teleport inside any walls, there's a chance you could get lost forever. What? Alright, big brain prey, watch this. Hey, um... Oh right, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sweet. We have this now. Alright. Um, this. Little statue. There's something like that on display. All kinds of stuff on the shelves. Some kind of terracotta. Oh, got a coin. I'm getting rich. Alright, a book. Black, I mean. 
Sword? Replica. Still very impressive, covered in gold, but geez, I'm very touching. I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Um. Oh, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than hey, nothing, I um... guess. You should take it with you. It might even help light up your room a little. Think so? You guys should be better careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper. What? <laughs> What's wrong? So Korra is a different character? Oh yeah, this is Sayaka. Sorry, time comes over tech, you. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. If I got you on your side, I guess I'll need a weapon. She did it. She did it. She did something. <laughs> we can stop looking for a weapon. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not paying attention anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything important here. I don't say that. Um, listen. Minecraft? What's your dream? I... My dream, I want to be a star. Well, yeah, you're living that currently. Grew up without a mother. That worked really hard. Kid, change, pretty, <laughs> smile. Well, it's slipping away. So that's what I wanted to be. Eventually, that became my dream. So amazing. Incredible. I... I mean, whatever it took. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Okay, so she's a murderer. Tough, but far. Oh, oh, no! Look at the wrong idea. But... It's super fun. That's exactly what scares me. Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much. We've been performing together since we were young, family. We'll have to have we'll given up, work together, fill our dreams together, but we're so happiness. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, what happens? What just happens? You die and suffer. If Dream Minecraft dies, those wonderful days come to an end. Ayaka. She's trembling. She must be afraid. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much, and now you she's see. losing it. That's the reason I came here. Uh, um. See, if you're graduating from here, Sarah, success is basically guaranteed. It seems like I keep performing with my best forever and ever. At least what I thought. I really did believe that. But now we're trapped here with no way out. Love that event. They're probably waiting for me while I'm... Okay, she's losing it. She's gonna kill someone. Why? Why? She's gonna murder someone. Trapped in here. That's what something fixed in my words. Wait, she's scared you can't even Sorry. imagine it. Sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um, kind of killed the mood. Not at all, Sorry. it's fine. You're fine. I love plot. I didn't read half of what you said, but it's fine. You getting hungry? Let's go eat. Okay. Okay, time to eat. <laughs> Eating time. Yay. Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared. All right, so she definitely murdered someone. Like a mask? Like dream? Anyways, we headed to the dining table before return. No. <laughs> No. Only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All doesn't make me feel that much more comfortable. Anyways, still plenty of time left. I really don't feel like sitting here. Must look around. Your first. Okay, first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Yes. As you live out your school life, you only begin free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. You'll witness intimate events. New info will be added. Each event will open up your skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We're showing them the courage you develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to the end and the story will progress. Anyways, when we try spending some time with Miss Ideal Partner, we get our think? All right, free time. Um. I think I'm done for now. I mean, there's no way I'm probably gonna finish reading a long section of free time and like, um, keep going? Marco, there's a direct in 10 minutes. Sweetheart, beloved, I have to react to Mario being in Smash.